I also have been asked to speak about 365 days of memories, impressions, ideas, ideals, and the challenges incurred while carrying a title. My step-down speech, this step-down speech, may possibly be the least politically correct step-down speech to date. But then, I am not known for being overly politically correct. Really? Yes. <laughs> I do want to preface this, preface this speech by stating that I am not singling out any one producer, in particular my own organizer, or event for this message. A statement was made to me during an event Master Rick and I attended several months ago by one of the producers of the event. It went like this, and I quote, I don't understand the mentality that title holders sometimes have, that they are above the rest of the attendees in an event. I think some title holders believe they should just be recognized and that gives them some special power. I believe that title holders expect to be treated differently." End quote. Hmm. Didn't sit real well with me. I am known for being truthful and stating my mind, which has earned me sometimes another title that of not being very slave-like. <laughs> and that's fine by me, for as my wise and esteemed mentor has told me, it matters not what others think of you, it matters only what you believe of yourself. He is a wise man, that one. This man for me is leather. I will begin with some treasured memories quickly. Master Rick and I ran for International Master Slave in Texas this year. It was a fantastic event. Each and every couple had their own special dynamic and gift to offer to the community. While sitting at breakfast on the morning prior to the interviews, a gentleman whom I have admired, loved, and known for many years snuck up behind me and leaned over my shoulder. He wanted me to know he was there for me and that he believed in me. And he told me he loved me in his own unique way. This man, this person of note, pressed his lips to my left ear and sang an entire gypsy love song to me in the barest whisper, totally in Spanish. This man, for me, is leather. Unforeseen events caused Master Rick and I to reach out to the community for aid during our title year. I was forcefully placed on unpaid medical leave by my employer, and we did not have the finances to pursue legal action. A woman, a very special woman of dominance, knew of our circumstance and on her own accord, without fanfare, recognition, or preamble, quietly held a fundraiser and retained a lawyer specializing in long-term disability claims for us. This woman, for me, is leather. As title holders, as leather title holders, these are the people we represent. These and more, the quiet ones, the unsure ones, the new ones, the old ones, the new old guard, the old middle guard, the newbie new guards, <laughs> and the I'm not sure what I guard guards. <laughs> These are our brethren, our family, and our community. As leather title holders, we are your leather ambassadors. We put ourselves out there. We place our necks on the line every day, literally and figuratively, 24-7. We educate, we stimulate, we aggravate, and we recruit. We talk until our throats are dry and our voices are long gone. And we keep doing it after most everyone else is tucked away in their comfy hotel or beds at home. We do this for our community, for our event, for our region, and we do it for ourselves. We do it all for free on our dime, on our time, and with our own individual spirit and energy. It's grueling and it's exhilarating, it's heartbreaking and it's uplifting, it's a privilege and honor, and sometimes it's just pure hell. So why then would anyone in their right mind choose to run for a title? Because we care. We care what happens to our community to our peers, our elders, our producers, the owners of our local, national, and international events. 
title holder responsibilities have grown, and we need the support of our community, of all of you, to do the job that you have chosen for us to do, to be the leather ambassadors the leather community expects and demands us to be now. In his autobiography, Confessions, Jean-Jacques Rousseau wrote, finally, I recalled the stopgap solution of a great princess who was told that the peasants had no bread and who responded, let them eat cake. We all know this. To that end, I challenge our community, our producers, event owners, directors, and anyone else that has anything to do with our lifestyle to take stock. Because we as title holders do not want to eat cake. But we do want and need to be given the proper ingredients to make a good one. Help us work hard for you, for your events, for our regions, and for our community. I plan to, we plan to offer our services, advice, and financial support when we are able to to those wishing to pursue a title and spread their own unique message to our community. I ask everyone to remember and support those that are out there working for us and our community. And the next time a fundraiser is mentioned or a raffle sale, ask yourselves, hey, I wonder how our own title holders are doing. Because I do not believe title holders expect to be treated differently. But maybe, just maybe, they deserve to be. Thank you.